What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another God Logic Apologetics. Oh, hold on. There we go. Sorry about that. Anyway, like I was saying before, I was really interrupted by no logic. Uh, thank you guys for coming through to another God Logic stream. I'm your host, Avery Austin, where we allow Muslims. Jehovah's Witnesses and all the kind of non-believers and antichrists to come up and go ahead and tell us why Christianity is false, why their position is true, why the Trinity is false, why Jesus is not God, why the Bible is unreliable, why their position in their book actually is on the alternative. So what's up, everybody? Make sure you guys hit the like button. So good to see you guys. So good to see each and every one of y'all. Yeah, it's been some days, man. It's been some days. So um, we've been on the schedule. We've been on the schedule. Um, and But we didn't stream on Friday, and there was a reason why. There was a reason why on Friday I could not go live. And the reason was because um, I was busy planning a proposal. I was proposing to my now fiancé and... If I were to go live that Friday or any or that weekend at all, it would have blew everything away. So I couldn't go live. I had to pretend like I was on a uh, a 11 hour flight to London as if I was going to London and doing the, um, you know, the speaker's corner thing again. I had to kind of kind of, you know, frame the narrative that way. So. That whole Friday, I couldn't go live. Saturday, I couldn't go live. Um, and but but yeah, Saturday night was when you know the the mission was completed. She said yes. She said yes. So glory to God. Shout out to the Most High. She said yes with tears. She was completely bewildered. She didn't know what was going on. She didn't know what was happening. And boom. She she said yeah she couldn't believe her eyes when she saw me all yeah <laughs> it was it was crazy but but yeah we we recorded it we recorded a few things so I'm uh, probably gonna put like a little little video together um, showing showing everything and uh, so you guys can could see how how it went but yes your boy Logic is an engaged man I got a whole full on fiance y'all uh, so. Whenever you guys see like these type of backgrounds, like where I'm at right now, or whenever y'all would see me, like man, Logic's not home, is because this is where I've been this whole time. So this is this is um, uh, I'm out here visiting her now, um, and yeah. So make sure you guys pray for us, pray for us, pray for me, pray for Lady Logic. Um, you guys all know her. You guys all know her. Uh, she's a mod on this channel. If you guys haven't guessed it already. You guys already know who who it is. Uh, matter of fact, let me actually see. Who do you guys think it is? Let me see if you guys could uh, to, could guess who it is. Who do y'all think Lady Logic is, man? Who do y'all think? Who do y'all think? Let me see. Let me see if y'all knew. <laughs> yep. Yep. Y'all y'all already knew. Y'all already knew, man. <laughs> Somebody said a lot. <laughs> y'all thought it was going to be long at all, huh? No, yeah, Cur Curly Ed Theologian, she had some competition with Lana Tala, but, you know, I had to pray about it, and God showed me that really it was her. <laughs> no, nah, y'all are funny for that. That's hilarious. Yep, it's Curly Ed Theologian. You guys saw her. She was out there with me um, in Speaker's Corner in London. She had my back. She's my helpmate, the love of my life, and she wasn't going to let nothing happen to me at Speaker's Corner. <laughs> if y'all saw her face, that woman was serious, watching everybody closely. So, yeah, she ain't nothing to play with, man. I love her, and I thank God for her. So, yep, shout out to Curly Headed Theologian, my beautiful, beautiful fiance. Um, 
yeah, so that's that's what was going on, guys. That's what a uh, little special announcement here. Uh, we got Beast Guard who says, yo, Avery, God bless you, brother. Congrats on your engagement. Keep Christ at the center of it all, and you'll have a wonderful marriage, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, my brother. I, I receive that wholeheartedly. I receive that 100%. We got Sabas who says, God bless, brother. I'll be up there with you soon. Amen. Let's get it. <laughs> We also got another super chat from Patience in Love with Jesus. Thank you so much. And then we got Angel who says, you all better, 434, that like button for the now engaged logic. Congrats, Avery. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. All right. So we have uh, we have a guest in the, in the background. He was uh, here already. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's let the person know, man. Let's get this. Let's get this kitchen going, man. Let's start cooking now. Let's get it. How you doing, uh, Nathan? Oh, so I don't know. I know you like. Hopefully, this is the beginning of the stream. So I hope I'm. It is. It, it's the beginning of the stream. Uh, I know you don't like when we do this, but I have to really thank you. I don't know if you remember me from uh, maybe a few weeks ago. I think it was. Um, I hopped on your stream. And Nathan, yeah, I remember you. And for the Muslims out there, I hope you know that uh, you your religion is spawn of Satan. I read some hilarious things. Um, it was honestly so funny. When you read that, um, whatever you look like, so let's say you look more like your mother, that means that your mother... Uh, orgasm first. I actually read that right. and I was laughing. That's right. Then I gave it to a Muslim, and then um, he said that science is unreliable. So. Mm. <laughs> Undeniable, bro. Absolutely, they, they can't. They, they they cannot. You know. And then the moon mm. follows the sun. There's all these these crazy things that I just can't couldn't wrap my head around. I'm so happy yeah. that I'm not part of that anymore. That's and amazing. Yeah, congratulations. congratulations, man. Honestly. Of course. That of is course. Absolutely blessed. That's what Thank I'm you. Just very happy to hear that. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. So for for those for you guys who don't remember, Nathan uh used to be a Muslim. You know, he came up and you know was expressing his thoughts, sharing his thoughts. We had discussion and stuff like that. And you know, now you know he's been out of been out of Islam uh what a couple weeks now, Nathan? Uh I'm, I'm <laughs> Yeah, it was just before I came to London, so yeah, about that time. Yeah, about yeah, time, so yeah, maybe two, three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, about two, three weeks ago, man. And so now, and now he's over there sharing, he's sharing these beautiful hadith with the rest of the with the other Uma, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> man, God bless you, man. I pray God strengthens yeah. you, man. Keep on doing what you're Thank doing, you so much, keep studying, man. and uh, you'll be you'll be strong, I'm, I'm, you'll be a strong worker in the kingdom, man. Yeah, thank you so much. Right. Right. Get to cooking, yeah. All right, bless. All right so man. All right. <laughs> All right. I love. All right, that's my boy Nathan right there. We got uh, keeping it real, gamer. He says, "Hey, Avery, always learning from you. Congrats. When is Logic Junior gonna school the Muslims? <laughs> uh, give us some time, man. Give us some time. You know, you know, we gotta, we gotta have the wedding." You know, and then after the wedding, you know, you might see, you know, a couple of little little logics running around, cooking up the muzzies and the Jehovah's Witnesses and all that kind of good stuff, man. So all in the Lord's time and all in the Lord's time, <laughs> all in the Lord's time. Uh, Trax, he says, congrats, bro. May Jesus bless you, bless your forthcoming marriage with peace and happiness. What are your thoughts on the disrespect of Jesus at the Olympics? At the Olympics, I I want to actually do a video. Uh, I want to do a video on that for GL Media, so I'm actually working on that actually. So I mentioned it to Life a few minutes uh, before the, the sh we started this stream. So yeah, I'm gonna do a video and let all my thoughts out on that actual video. I don't want to spoil everything just yet. Y'all already heard everything, so definitely gonna do a video on that, man. Definitely some interesting stuff to point out. With uh, with the blasphemy, but also here's an, here's another thing I want to point out: how the Christians in Europe stood up and came out, was marching the streets, praying together, 
day and night, uh, showing that we're strong, showing that we're not pushovers and weak and not going to stand for that type of disrespect and abuse. I absolutely loved it. And notice they didn't do it fighting. They did it praising and worshiping God publicly, pronouncing publicly their faith. I loved that. They didn't have to cut anybody's head off, but they just prayed and they worshiped together and fellowshiped and showed a strong front. I love this. So yeah, going to do a video on that for sure. Uh, God logic is your fiance older than nine. She is definitely most definitely older than nine years old. Absolutely. Uh, 100% just to answer that question. I feel like that was a reasonable question to ask since, you know, we're living in day and times where, you know, some of that stuff could be obscure, you know, uh, man. One way apologetics What's happening. He says, Salam I'm so happy. Christine. I'm so happy. Christina Marie will be now known as the first lady of the original Quran only Christians. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much. One way. Chris Claus in the building. All right. Let's see if we can. Uh, let's see what we have here. I'm going to read you guys the super chats here, but make sure you guys are Muslims. I'm assuming that you guys are Muslims who have requested. How you doing, Sam? Hey, what's up, bro? Um, I'm sorry. I really don't want to waste your time right here. I just want to tell you guys that I had a dream of Jesus coming back. So he's coming back soon. Everyone get ready for the Lord. I'm begging you, get right with God. Lukewarm Christians, get right with God. Please, I'm begging you. Jesus Christ right. is our Lord and Savior. He's the only one you, who will save us from hell. And um, you, yeah, I just want to encourage you all. That's it. All right. Beautiful. All right. Take care, man. Yeah, all right, guys. Care. So look, um, this is this is what it is, guys. Uh, so that's 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 two strikes for you, we and, and and that's it. So um, I have the link that's right there. It says no Christians, no Christians, and Christians are requested. So I'm just going to say it right now. If, if you are a Christian and you request, despite what the link says, I'm just going to ban you. All right? I'm just going to ban you. Okay? So I just want, let's just have respect for the stream. When you guys are hitting the link, and you are coming up despite what I have said, despite the ground rules that I set. And you guys uh, continuously just going to hit the link just because you feel like you can and you want to. because You feel like you want to share what you want to say despite the rules of the stream. I'm just going to ban you because that's a now you're disrespecting me and you're disrespecting my platform. Even if you have good intentions behind what you're doing, you're disrespecting me and the platform when you go over me and still hit the link and request up. So if you are a Christian, just letting you guys know from here on out, if you're a Christian and whenever it says Muslims only or no Christians and you still hit the link, you still request, you will be banned. That's the last time I'm going to say it. That's just the rule. So moderators and commentators and people who are watching, spread that throughout our stream from here on out so that people don't get butt hurt when they actually do get banned for requesting anyway. It's just that simple. All right. So keys, Brian, I am assuming that you are not a Christian. That's what I'm assuming, that you're not a Christian. All right. How you doing? Keys, how you doing? Keys going once, going twice. All right. Anyway, so if you have any Muslims that are in the chat that would like to come up and discuss, you're more than welcome to, man. We're right here. Christianity is better than Islam. You're welcome to join and tell me how it's not. Change my mind. Change my mind. Trinity Disbeliever, what's up? Trinity Disbeliever, your mic is muted. Going once, Trinity Disbeliever. Going twice, Trinity Disbeliever. All right. 
Dorde. Or is it Dorde? Hello? Just door. No, it's I, it's uh, say George. Say George. George? Yeah, George. It's similar to George, but in, in Serbian, this is a letter J. George. Really? Oh. Yeah. So George. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Okay, George. All right, welcome. Are you a Muslim? No, I'm a Christian. <laughs> you're, Wait. You're, you're not a gay. <laughs> what? You're not a Christian. There's no way. Bro, I'm I'm Serbian. Like we we are Orthodox Christians. <laughs> I don't know if you don't know that, but yeah. You're you're an Orthodox Christian, and you join yeah. even still after hearing me say no Christians. No. Really? You don't see the I, link I, how it says no. Like, there's a link. Does I, do you guys not see it? Does it? I apologize. Actually, okay, never mind. I just wanted to ask a question, but never mind. I I'm sorry. I'll just leave it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Whatever. Sorry. My bad, my bad. I did. I actually. I just joined the, the the link. I didn't even read, but yeah, my bad. I'm sorry. No worries. It's all good. It's all good. Take See, care. I'm sorry. All right. Hey guys, let me know if you guys see it in the in the. Is it pinned? Does it say no Christians or am I tripping? You guys, let me know. Like, tell me if it says no Christians. If it says Christians join, let me know. Let me know because I maybe maybe I'm I'm maybe I'm tripping. Okay, you guys see it? All right, <clears throat> all right, guys. I love you. I love you all. I love each and every one of you. Um, but you guys, you guys got to pay attention to the link. All right, pay attention to the link. Uh, let's see. We got another super chat here. <clears throat> Man, I love you guys. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, game says, I've been wanting to thank you. I had a question on sources, and that very day I saw you on Jai and DLC stream uh, asking for me. Love what you do. Thank you. Man, glory, glory to God. Man, God bless you. God bless you. We're welcoming all the Muslims that are here. Any Muslims that want to. <laughs> Any Muslims that want to join the stream, you're welcome to come through. Tell me why Islam is better than Christianity, is superior to Christianity in any way, whether it's theologically, whether it's morally, um, whatever it is, you can you can, you're you're welcome to join. You're welcome to join and tell me why. Um, because what I've seen, the arguments that I've had, the discussions that I've had. It leads me to believe and to conclude without a shadow of a doubt that there isn't an ounce of truth in Islam. None. There's a bunch of half-truths. There are half-truths in Islam. Sort of like how, the, how Satan lies, you know? How Satan lies. He appears to uh, put half-truths half in his lies to, to, to cover it up, to veil his lie, you know? So amazing, absolutely amazing. Alex says, please respect the channel rules. Only Muslims are allowed for now. Thank you for being respectful, y'all. Thank you, Alex. Thanks for shout out. All right. All right, let's see here. Congrats, Avery and Mrs. Logic. I was just wondering who cooks in the house or are you both full from the cooking session every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? God bless. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be real with you. We both get down. I'm talking about on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We we both cook. She can cook too, man. That's that's why I can't have a road dog that can't cook. She, she ain't one to play with when it comes to the scriptures. That's what I love about her. All right, let's see what we got. Yakob, how you doing? Yakob. All right. Keys, you got to connect your device, man. Maybe that was the first problem. You got to connect your device. <laughs> Pro Life says, Congratulations. You thought I was your sister before now. Before, now you're marrying my other half brain. So you are really 
stuck with me as your sis now. <laughs> yeah. Before that, I was already stuck with you, Chloe, but you're right. Now, now it's crazy. I got your other half, I got your the other half of your brain that's with me now for life. And so now it's a wrap. Come on, guys. Come on, Muslims, man. I know you guys are in here. I know you guys are watching. Tell me why the Trinity is false. Tell me why the gospel isn't true. Tell me why. Keys, are you working now? You good? I'm a Muslim, bro. I believe in the Father. Don't ban me. I'm a fan of Belgium. Ciao, ciao. I'm, 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 I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Bro, don't. All right. And you're banned. Let's see here. Christian says, do you have a PDF uh, you could share with us that we can study to better equip us to reach our Muslim brothers and sisters? Um, I don't necessarily. I, I, I don't have my own personal PDF. I just have like notes that I take on my phone. I keep on my phone or on my laptop, <clears throat> but not in PDF style. It's just notes that I have or I, I'm old fashioned. I got stuff written down. Most of the stuff I have is written down. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, the best place I can point you guys to is answeringislam.com or .org, whatever it is, Answering Islam Web. That database there has everything that you need in, with engaging with Islam. There's everything you need. So you don't need my PDF. You go on Answering Islam, you guys learn those articles, study those articles, study the scriptures and the sources that they bring up, and you guys will be unstoppable. It's really, really that simple. Really that simple. <clears throat> Sam says, I'm sorry for joining, even though you said no Christians. I just wanted to share this. Forgive me, Avery, in chat. I didn't want to be disrespectful. All forgiven, my brother. All forgiven, Sam. I respect that. All forgiven. All forgiven. I love you. Like I said, I love each and every one of you guys. So don't take it to heart. Um, don't take it to heart that I'm saying Christians only. Uh, you want to say it, you know? So I'm not. I'm not angry at you guys. You know, just just honor honor the ground rules. Okay. I love I love you guys though. <clears throat> I love you guys though. Congrats on the engagement. Use this gift to fund your Hajj. Christ is King. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. I appreciate you, my brother. I appreciate you. God bless you, man. Yeah, guys, look, it's been really simple. What, what's, uh, what I've been noticing as I've been going through, uh, these, seeing these certain lives, seeing these, uh, uh, these platforms on TikTok, I've been seeing Christians, and it's all glory to God. I've been seeing Christians absolutely demolish Muslims on these subjects, on these subjects that We've been going over the multiple Qurans, using the examples that, we, that we've been streaming about and teaching on these past few months, um, destroy, you know, destroying the argument that Jesus is a Muslim. I mean, I'm watching, I mean, just you know, random Christians are using the tactics and the arguments that we're giving that destroy and dispel the, the myths of Islam. It's really amazing, man. All glory to God. You guys are, are amazing. For those of you guys who are learning the arguments, learning the material, and actually spreading it, shout out to you guys who are studying and becoming laborers of the kingdom. It's this, that's why we do it. That's exactly why we do it. Just for that. We do it for that. It's been amazing. Uh, the argument that we run showing that Allah is not God, he's not all powerful, you know, and you guys know why. The Muslims want to come up and show us, fine, you know, we'll talk about it. But you guys have been absolutely amazing when it comes to taking the arguments and using them to your advantage, using them with the Muslims you come across. Ex exactly 100. The simple arguments are the best arguments. It's really that, it, like on the surface, on right on the surface level, they seem like they're very simple and very like they, they seem you know trivial. They seem weak, right? What is the NGO? Uh, prove Jesus was a Muslim. Should be easy, right? What is the NGO? Should be easy. 
These little simple things. Uh, <clears throat> where does Jesus mention Muhammad? Simple things, right? And you guys have been going, and the Muslims are, they're infighting, they're fighting each other, dogging each other out, they're doxing each other, they're upset at each other. And it all started with the question, is Allah a father in any sense? <laughs> that has been the question of the year. Is Allah a father in any sense? And because of this question, in, in, in attacking this argument of Jesus being a Muslim, because of that simple, simple question that Muslims are struggling to answer, it has caused a divide amongst, amongst them and their Dawah guys. They are arguing with each other, doxing each other, cursing each other, you know, challenging each other to mubahalas. You bring your kids and your wife. I'll bring my kids and my wife and we're going to do this. We're going to testify before the people. And may Allah curse the liar. Challenging, challenging each other to mubahalas doxing each other, putting each other's information out, putting each other's faces out, houses out. It's been crazy. It's been absolutely insane. So, man, it's, uh, it's fun. It's fun watching this. It's fun watching you guys use these arguments. It's fun watching the Muslims crumble off of the simplest arguments. But these simple arguments are deadly ones. These simple arguments are deadly arguments. They're deadly. Let's see what we got here. How you doing? Hello, how you doing? All right, I'm going to go ahead and kick you and ban you. Yep, these simple arguments are deadly arguments. They're irrefutable, airtight. Don't got to do too much. Don't got to do too much. All you got to do is apply simple wisdom, follow the logic where it leads. What's up, Manny? <clears throat> Man, he says, Brother Logic, can you please put some logic sense into JP Uncut and Sam? Our brothers need some help. They should be strengthening each other. By the way, congrats to you and Christina. Thank you, brother. Uh, you know, it is what it is. They, they have a, a disagreement, uh, a doctrinal disagreement, you know, um, and sometimes these things can get can get ugly. You know, if people are insulting or because of disagreements, that's when things get ugly. We can have disagreements and and disagree in a Christ-like manner, right? You know, so it is what it is, man. And those are two grown men. They 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 they, they can handle themselves. Lucas says, couldn't do couldn't do it without leaders like you and Sam, brother. Just keep educating us on the word. You uh, you help us strengthen our faith, or just me, LOL. Bless you. Of course, man. God bless you. Thank you so much, Lucas. I appreciate you, my brother. I'm going to try to add you one more time, uh, Alpha. If this doesn't work, then you just have to go. Can you, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Alpha? Yes, yes, yes. I hear you. All right. Are you a Muslim? Uh, my question is, uh, you are from this country. I can't, I can't understand what you're saying. Are you a Muslim? Mm, I want to learn from this country. Okay. Yeah, guys. I'm just waiting for some regular people to come up. <clears throat> Just ready for some regular people to come up. What's going on with it yesterday, today, man? Man, I don't know, man. Either either they're troll, you know, Christian trolls or just 
just just regular trolls, I guess. I guess that's what's popping up. You look comfortable <laughs> sipping your tea, <laughs> sipping your drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told you I had to get right out of the wash my face and get right for the stream, yeah. man. I was, I, right you know, but hey, who knows how this is gonna go today? I'm like, dang, what's going on? Yeah, Robert. Um, can you please confirm with me that you are a Muslim, please? Somebody said Abu. Confirm with me that you're a Muslim. Man, man named Robert. And ain't no Muslim named Robert. Robert Gardner. Uh, Christian Crusader says, I've been speaking with a Muslim, and by the grace of God, she broke away from Islam. Glory to God. However, she's afraid to buy a Bible out of fear of her family disowning her. Can y'all pray for her? Absolutely. May God wow. give her strength and the space to be able to study, study the faith. Now, here's the thing also, though. You know, she got a phone. If she has a phone, she could easily just download the Bible. Doesn't she don't have to? She doesn't have to buy a physical Bible to get exposed. She could just buy it on her phone and use the Bible app, right? So, mm -hmm. thank God for we're in a time in technology where people don't have to have a physical book in order to to study God's word. Yeah, uh, they can go online. Glory to God for the, that. I Good think work. it's literally called the Bible app or something like that. Yeah, it's called the Bible app. Literally. Mm -hmm. There's a few of them. We got the Bible app. That's the main one. But then you all also got other, other Bible apps. Bible Gateway, you know, all that kind of stuff. All right, Big Pun Forever says, Keys here. Sorry for the, for the ban, but sometimes do Christian chat because this is the easiest way to reach out. And we need to show love and learn more from you. Absolutely. When I have the Christian streams, Christians are welcome to come. When I have the Christian streams, guys are more than welcome to come on up. I promise. Much love from Europe, brother. Can you explain what route you go down? What is the starting point of the discussion when you say father in any sense? So the argument is, is that they say that Jesus is a Muslim. They say that Jesus is a Muslim. And their argument is <clears throat> that Jesus is a Muslim because he submits to one God. Okay. We know that that's not what Muslim means, but we'll go with it. Granted, Muslim means one who submits to one God. Is that it? Is that all what it means to be a Muslim? So if I submit to one God, but the one God I submit to is a statue, is an idol in my closet, am I a Muslim? They'll say no. Uh, God, uh, God is not an idol. He's creator of it. Oh, okay, so you're talking about a specific concept of God. Okay, boom. So is God the God you're talking about to be a Muslim? Is he a Trinity? They'll say no. Um, does he have partners? They'll say no. Is he a father in any sense? Most of the point, most of the time, they'll say no. So then you say, okay, show me that Jesus believed and submitted. To this God that you just described to me, this God who's not triune, this God who it doesn't have any partners, this God who is not a father in any sense. Show me that. Show me that Jesus submitted to that God you described to me. And so they try. They take you to the Bible where Jesus prayed to God, where he submitted to God, where he says, I came not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me, my father. But in all of these places, all of these places, he refers to God as his father. So according to them, Jesus is not a Muslim because he believes that God is his father and Allah is not the father in any sense. So therefore, he's not a Muslim. Islam is false. And because of this, this is why they're scrambling. Now they're trying to go into scholars and sources to try to find oh is it okay was it okay maybe to, back then to call godfather but now it's not maybe it's changed now oh so allah changes so allah was once a father before but now he's not no uh, no okay oh, allah can't change okay so then he was never a father then if he's not now he never was before allah doesn't change according to y'all but yeah, there's so many ways you can go with this. So many directions. It's fun. So fun. Now, a super chat from, uh, I believe it's Carol. Carol Say So, who says, love what you do. I listen all the time. 
So I decided to pay you to please push the mute button when you hear your throat. <laughs> Don't change when you clear your throat. <laughs> Don't change anything else. Love to you and the future. <laughs> She's trying to pay me. Mute the button when I'm when I'm clearing my throat. That is hilarious. I don't think I'm gonna have enough, enough attention span for that, Carol. I might have wasted your money on that one. <laughs> I've been seeing Christians concede oh. to contradiction by TikTok Muslim. Can you help uh, the flock? Mark, Mark twelve thirty nine. Mark eight twelve. I'll we'll probably get to that in a second. We'll see what that is. Um, hey, those like of you have... in the back chat, text in the private chat if you're a Muslim. I know if 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 Arfan is, but Emmy, re reply in the back chat and let me know if you're a Muslim, Emmy, please. Hello. How you doing, Arfan? I'm good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Can man. you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hey, word, you got your government man up there. Oh my! That makes me make sure you mute. Me. Sure he's, you mute me. He's there. Oh man! <laughs> so what is this? That boy just doxed himself. Gee, ain't there you are making it big. Yeah, look, there it is. Yeah, All right, me. look. All right. Anyway, Efron. So the title is uh, Christianity. Is better than Islam changed my mind. Well, how would you like to change my mind on that? How is it better? Um, how is it better? It's better theologically. It's not theologically sound and consistent. You know, all the prophets taught the same message, while Islam comes with Muhammad, who contradicts the message of the prophets. Um, it's better morally, has better moral standards than what we see in the Quran and taught by Muhammad in Islam and the Hadiths. Um, yeah, I would say that those are two big things of how it's better. How about theology? How about how theology? Is this theology with the Islamic theology? Yeah, so basically, um, Islam's theology is. It claims to be consistent with the prophets. But when we look at it, it's not. It teaches opposite things about the God that the prophets revealed about Yahweh. Right? It contradicts what Moses taught. It contradicts what Abraham believed, what Jesus taught, Isaiah, Malachi, all the prophets. Islam. What, what is the Christian theology that you guys believe? Well, one is that you know, uh, God is going to redeem the world through his Messiah. And Islam goes against that. You, I think I did not hear you. Your screen was uh, silent for some time. I said that the prophets taught that God is going to redeem mankind from their sins through the Messiah, through the work of the Messiah. While Islam rejects that and contradicts that. No, my question is like, uh, what is the Christian theology? What is your belief about God? I just told you. And can you give me the references from the Bible? Yeah. So you have Jesus himself in John 3, 16, he says, uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For he did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. And those who do not believe in the son are condemned already. All right. So that's what Jesus himself taught. Okay. And obviously, so, Islam is against that. Islam says that God is not a father. God did, you know, you know did not redeem mankind you through said his son. This is, 
you, you said that this theology is consistent with the previous message. Yeah, the prophets so, all pointed to the Messiah being the Savior and the Son of God. Okay. Can you what, give me that um, reference if anyone previously pointed to this, the Son being the Savior? Oh yeah, it's, it's it's all over. So you have you have Psalm two seven. That's in the book of second, David. I'm noting down the reference is Psalm. Yep, Psalm chapter two. You can read okay. that entire psalm. That's about the Messiah, who's also called God's son, um, who you know basically brings just justice to the world and eliminates God's enemies and establishes God's kingdom on earth. But that's separate from believing in the son being the savior for salvation. No, it literally, no, it literally says that the Messiah is the son in, in Psalm 2. It says that the Messiah is the, is, the, is the savior who is the son of God who will establish God's kingdom on earth. And he also, and no, he also teaches being, that. Being, being a Muslim... If somebody is a savior and somebody establishes a kingdom of God on earth, that is separate from being the salvation, being the source of salvation. These are two separate things. That is how we see. Well, I think that the difference that you're not addressing is how the savior is the Messiah specifically, and he is the son of God. He's God's son. No, this is this is in terms of that you said that this is the same message from the previous message messengers. So this is what I'm trying to understand that if the previous text said the similar thing that is written in the John three six sixteen, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I all the prophets. The similarity. So you don't see the similarity. Um, let me just let me just read it out. Let's see if you let's see what you don't read. <clears throat> Why do the nations rage and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his Messiah, saying, let us burst their bonds apart and cast away their cords. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord holds them in derision. Then he will speak to them in, in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, as for me, I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill, I will I will tell of the decree. The Lord said to me, you are my son. Today I begotten you. Ask of me and I will make the nations your inherit your heritage and the ends of the earth your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. Now, therefore, O kings, be wise. Be warned, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with with trembling. Here's the part. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and you perish in the way. For his wrath is quickly kindled. Blessed are all who take refuge in him, in the son. Uh, I guess the way we understand things in Islam we separate these things. I mean, the salvation is something else. Some a king being son of God or a lord being powerful and being somebody somebody we ask to be obedient to that is two different things. Salvation from God is different. Somebody on earth is powerful, is mighty, or whatever, but that is still not same as being the source of salvation. Um, that will, I, I put them together because obviously with the prophets is one and the same. You can't, you can't, uh, believe or you can't deny the son of God. But, but, but what I, what I expect, I, I guess, is that if there is a similar theology, let me say this, let me just say what I was saying. You cannot separate when we see in the prophets, you don't separate 
the salvation of God from the Son of God because they're one and the same. You, if you do not have the Son of God, you do not have the salvation of God. It's it's one and the same. And in Islam, it rejects this method of salvation. That's the point. The theology we see from the prophets, Islam contradicts. Yes, I, I agree with you that Islam disagree with the theology of Christians. But what I'm trying to understand is that the theology that Christians believe, how is that same as the previous prophets? Because I don't see the similarity. Okay. So you just heard me read. Let me just put it on. You can see. Let me just put it on the screen. What, what you read to me from the John 3.16, uh, yeah. I don't see something similar from the past. All right. Let's see. Let's see. So here is, I'm going to put on Psalm 2.12. And then we're going to couple it next to John 3, uh, 16. All right. So here's Psalm 212 on the screen. You can, you can see it on the screen? Yes, I can see it. All right. It says, kiss the son, lest he be angry, and you perish in the way. For his wrath is quickly kindled. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. This is David speaking. He's the prophet David in the psalm. Okay. Saying that you have to honor the son, kiss the son that's honoring the son, or else he'll be angry and you will perish if you do not honor the son. For his wrath is quickly kindled. And it says, blessed are all who take refuge in the son. That the Son is your salvation. He is the place where okay. you are safe. No, but there is no word salvation mentioned here. I mean, this is what, just what, what talking is about something, someone what mighty mean, on the earth. What does it mean to take refuge? Use it in our daily life for uh, lots of reasons. And no, no. What, what is, taking what refuge does it mean is not specific refuge? to salvation. No, what does it mean to take refuge in something? If, if something is your refuge, what is that? I mean, it can be something like uh, you are in trouble and you go to somebody for the solution or something for it. For, you, you're for you're right safety. on it. Yep. For your safety, right? If you're in trouble and you go to yeah. this thing for your safety, for your shelter, you know, for your guard, your guardian, right? That's your safety. Let, let, let me say it. What I, what I see, how I see it, like... It is something similar that you there is a king in your area in any country on earth and somebody goes to it for taking further refuge somebody approaches the king or a mayor or anybody in the country or in the city to take refuge with them mm -hmm. for something but this is this is not similar to the salvation hereafter and i don't see that Similarity here. This is what I'm. What is he? What is he? What is he? What is he struggling to to see? Is he trying to? He's trying he's to true. say. No. What does the Bible he needs, teach? He needs the exact words, uh, eternal life or paradise, mm -hmm. in order for him to get it. I think. Um, he won't. He he's, he won't. And when it uh, says, uh, what I'm trying to questions. understand is that the same theology Brad, that you say I, is I, there. I think that. Uh, I think you know. I I just think that. Um, I don't know. Uh, there's nothing I could do here. You know, if you're, if you, if, uh, you know, you're not understanding what take refuge, what take refuge in the sun means, and you're saying that that's not similar to Jesus saying, whoever believes in the sun has everlasting life, has salvation. And this says, blessed are all those who take refuge in the sun. Um, and you have to honor him or else he'll be angry with you. Jesus says in John 3 16, all who don't believe the sun are condemned. Right. You know, I, if you don't, if you don't see that, that's then there's nothing too like clear. It. Yeah, there's nothing I could do, man. All right. There's nothing I could do. But I appreciate you coming. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy how they just like purposely play don't dumb. want to under that's yeah, that's too they, clear, they, bro. They purposely play dumb. And so when you're that dishonest, I don't have to, I don't have I would rather talk to myself. No, yeah, absolutely. That was insane. So I checked everybody out. They're a majority Muslim in the in the chat. It better be all Muslim, not majority. <laughs> Everybody. 
Yeah, some new ones popped up. I didn't ask him yet, but yeah. Emmy's right. em, em, a Muslim. Don't right. block me, Avery. Don't block me, man. I just, <laughs> I just had one question, Logic. I just, I just <laughs> wanted to say. <laughs> I just wanted to say. Uh, <laughs> I know you said no Christians, but uh, I got to get this question off real quick. <laughs> oh, man, stupid. Let me... Um, so we got we got Emmy here. Hold on, let me get a couple of super chats. Let me read through a super, couple of super chats here. We got uh, I'm Emma, Emma. I'm gonna say Emma. Uh, Avery, the cross examiner. Uh, I'm gonna keep saying it till it sticks. God bless you, brother. Of course, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We also got somebody pressing life, man. Says life. Why did you click the link? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, man. You know, you know, because I don't, I don't listen. Amen. That's right. You know. And may the Lord continue <laughs> to bless you and Lady Logic. Amen, amen. And then we got Gene in the house. Grapes must be jammed because jelly don't shake like that. Wow. <laughs> logic. Yeah, logic. <laughs> hey, Logic, how did you... Uh... Oh, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Kai says, congrats, Avery. Praise God that I got to witness a brother grow from humble beginnings on Clubhouse to YouTube to marriage. God bless the Logic family. Amen. Thank you so much, Kai. Oh, That's my right. Goodness. Accident. All right. He over here trying to sabotage the stream, y'all. And then last but not least, and then we're going to continue. It says, uh, God bless Avery and all my brothers and sisters in the chat. And congrats on your engagement. <coughs> Praise God. I was wondering your thoughts on the K bar slash severing aorta. Oh, okay. All right. Mm. I love to see how you attack that one day. You know, what's interesting. I asked this to Jai and DOC uh, when they was doing lives and they was asking questions. Forgot exactly what stream it is. If somebody could pull that for them. But Jai and DOC, for, because they speak Arabic, they're able to, you know, get past the, the games that the Muslims try to play with the Arabic. So um, with Muhammad's aorta being severed and him being a false prophet, Muslims will try to argue, well, the word in the, in the Quran is different than the word specific word for aorta used in the Hadith. So it's not talking about the same thing. Mm. However, um, from what, yeah, yeah. From what, it's a different word for aorta. It's a different word for my order. And possibly even a different part of the I order that it's referring wow. to. So, wow. Wow. Um, you know, the games that Muslims play is it's 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 hilarious. It's silly. That's their whole anyway. doubt, bro. It's play games with words. I've 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 come to realize it now. It's just play games with words um, as much as you possibly can, and uh, never conclude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Q and I said, "Life be like, can I can, can I cook with you?" <laughs> <laughs> it's, cool. it's cool if I can. I, is, is it good? Is it? I'll go down if you want me to. <laughs> I can stay um, up here. I just want to. I just want to miss yeah, the can. vegetables. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's hey. it. You pass the season and you can do it. Hey, All right, we hey, got Emmy on the stage, man. Share. What? Oh wait, really quick. Share my screen real quick. Uh, I, you know, we do. We both on one screen right now. Uh, good evening. One second. Okay, hold on, really quick. So for those of you who, any Muslims that assumed he had a good argument, because we, you know that there are some who do, who do. Here's one that's giving him exactly zoom what he's asking for. Uh, zoom in. Yeah. Oh, oh, is that good? Or is it too still too small? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. That's it's good. Yeah. So Hebrews chapter two verses nine through ten, but we do see Jesus who was made lower than the angels for a little while, now crowned with glory and honor because he suffered death so that by grace of God, he might taste death for everyone in bringing many sons and daughters to glory. It was fitting that God for whom and through whom everything exists should make the pioneer of their salvation Perfect through what he suffered. I mean, it gets as clear as that. So if he's still in here, and your your question is answered with this, bro. So 
please don't ask another Christian that question, bro. Please. His question yeah. was, <clears throat> show me the some similarity of that from the previous prophets. That's what he was saying. So he wasn't he wasn't denying what the what what the text says in in you is know, that me, John? Can you hear us? Was is that me or was that your connection? It was probably mine. Can you hear us though? I can hear you now, but when you were talking, I can it was hear like, you logic. Okay, so it's just life, life, life up there. Got that Jabril. <laughs> that Jabril was. Must have been me, man. It, 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 it bleeds. You feel me? But Tripping but what he was asking, he, he wasn't denying the New Testament verse. He was saying, "Show me mm -hmm. where in the previous prophets taught something similar." Oh, and so okay. that's why I showed. I showed him song where it says, "Take refuge in the sun, or else mm -hmm. his wrath will be kindled against you." Oh, and yeah, he said, I don't see the I don't see the similarity within that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So just purposely being, huh. of course. All right. I, I, up, I, don't, I don't see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Emmy, can everybody hear me? Is it my connection good? Because this stuff stuff is yeah, I, I can't I can't right. hear you. you guys hear me? Yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah, yeah. you're good. All right, you welcome, good, man. Yeah. Welcome. All right. Oh, good evening. You willing to tell me how how to change my mind, man? You here to change my mind? Okay. Um. Basically, I saw come and defend Islam as a title, and coming here, I think I heard this um the previous collab um argument, and I think from what I can get from your um argument is that um he said um uh, the difference between Islam and Christianity is they refer to God as being a father. I hope I um, I got you right there. Well, that's one of the things. That's not not just Christianity. Just with this is who the prophet said God is, is the heavenly Father, and this is theologically, you know, contradictory to what the Quran teaches that Allah is not a father in any way, shape, or form. So it's yeah. not the same yeah. message or the same God that we're talking about. Okay, so uh, if you don't mind, can I ask some few questions to get the remaining really be behind this? Sure. All right. So um, basically, from your own perspective, or let's say from the Christian theology perspective, are Christians the only one who are going to heaven, or Christians are some certain type of people? The only people that's going to heaven are those who believe in Christ as their Savior. Without that, you're, you can't get to heaven because you're still so you're still stained with your sin. So is this excluding um the Jews? Whoever denies what that Jesus is the Son of God who died for their sins and rose again on the third day, whoever denies that will not have heaven. Okay, okay. So um, based on the father um description of God, is it right for us to say? So since the Jews believe they are also the children of God or the sons of God, it would be right for them to believe that since they don't believe in that aspect of Jesus Christ because they deny Jesus Christ. Since they deny Jesus Christ, is it okay to see um, ascribe Father to God since they won't be attaining heaven without the believing in Jesus? I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. I, I didn't. I didn't quite understand your question right. before. The Jews, they denied Jesus Christ. So from what you said, they won't be attending heaven. Uh, the ones the ones who reject Jesus, yeah, they're not going to make it to heaven. Yeah. And they still ascribe Jesus, um, God as the Father. Or they, yeah, they ascribe uh, So since I think one of the arguments, the Quran um, testified to was... Um, the Jews and the Christians actually ascribe God as a father, whereby he punishes them for their sins. And I think from the interpretation of that, it's more like since your own description of God here is love. And I don't think any father we want or we be um happy. I won't say happy, but actually still hold on to the description of love, whereby one of his children or one of his uh, children gets born in forever i don't know if you understand so far the jews are 
his children. Except, I don't know if there's any tenant from your side that takes someone away from being the children of God. Um, what stops someone from being a child of God is if they reject Jesus. If you reject Jesus as the Messiah, as the Son of God, uh, for your salvation, that keeps you from being adopted as God's son or daughter. That's what, that's Logic. what uh, I think. I think he's, spoke. I think he's saying, bro, that since the Jews are considered the son of sons of God, that God being a father would not uh, punish them and send them to hell because no father will want to see their children go through that. I believe that's the angle he's trying to trying to take. Is that, yeah. is that what you're asking? Sure, sure. Because the the Quran verse was actually portraying something like that, like the Jews and the Christian call God the Father. Yeah, chapter five, like, chapter five, we, verse eighteen. Yeah. Well, then why why we God punish them for their sins? Which that's the argument I'm bringing. in since the of Jews course. also claim to be the children of God, nice. So who is actually children of God between you and them? Well, the children of God are the ones who have faith in the Messiah. Those are the children of God. So you have Jews that are that do believe in the Messiah and still and are, are sons of God in that way. Um, God, because God made a covenant with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, Israel will always be his people. Even the ones who have disbelieved, they will always be his people. However, he punishes his people. He disciplines um, them. And this is what he actually says here in Deuteronomy uh, chapter eight. Because this is something else that was different from what the Quran says. The Quran says that uh, God wouldn't, he wouldn't punish his son, right, for his sins. While in the Torah, it teaches, no, that's exactly what God does, is that he punishes his sons. He disciplines them. Um, right here, verse 5, where we're, where we're going to look at. It says, know then in your heart. That as a man disciplines his son, the Lord your God disciplines you. So the Torah teaches that God as the father disciplines children. Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not actually being in this. Disciplines his children while the Quran teaches no. I don't know if you are getting me. I'm not bringing in this argument here. Now, you, you, you talk about salvation, and salvation is being saved from hell. Whether you, they are being disciplined or punished here in the world or stuff, I'm talking about the internal punishment. No father will punish his children for eternity. So I'm asking, so far the Jews have been given the promise of being the children of God. Are they also going to be punished? Or they are a certain type of people, just like the Christians and the Jews are going to heaven at the end of the day i can't really understand what you're saying but to answer your question you're assuming that god was would not uh god. send them to hell with their sons but however the bible says that whoever has faith is a, the son of god the true children of god are the ones who have faith faith in the messiah faith in his work and apart from that, you're cut off. So this is why it even says in the Bible that the Israel, the ones who disbelieve, are cut mm -hmm. off because of their disbelief. They're cut off because of their disbelief. But there's a remnant that God preserves that does believe in the Messiah, that continues to believe in the Messiah, that he keeps for himself to make sure that he's faithful to the promise he made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But the rest... The ones who disbelieve, the Israelites who disbelieve in the Messiah, are cut off and are thrown into the fire. Uh, is this from the New Testament or from the Old Testament? Both. Okay. So just like because what I just, from, just from like what I showed. Uh, sorry. Look, look. For my, my knowledge, I believe um, the Jews expect that for of the Messiah, the for because they have the reason why they denied Jesus Christ. So, I, well, is it I, that? I, think that you, I think that you and I could couldn't care less about what a Jew says about the Messiah, right? Since they since they reject and denied him, right? No, we care because I'm going with the argument of the previous caller, which you, you were putting to him that um, the Quran contradicts both the Old Testament and the New One. So I'm trying yeah. to bring the Old Testament view 
and your own saying yeah, I even just, I, just show, I just showed the old testament okay. view i just i just showed the old testament view if you do not honor the son and and watch what jesus says here even <laughs> look watch this bro uh john 5 what is it uh 24 or 23 i think it's 23. Yeah, here it is. So look, man, watch watching the screen. Can you see the screen? I'm gonna zoom in. Can you see it? Can you see it? You still yeah. on Psalms Psalms too, bro? Yeah, yeah. I want I want it there on Psalm two. I want them to see this one first. Oh, okay, okay. So you see Psalm two, right? Where it says, Yeah, yeah. Kiss, so kiss the sun. That's basically another way of saying honor the son. When you kiss, you are you're honoring the son, right? Mm -hmm. Lest he be angry if and you perish in the way. So if you do not honor the son, his anger and his and his wrath is on you, and you will perish if you do not honor the son. It says, For his wrath is quickly kindled. But then it says, uh -huh. Blessed are all who take refuge in him, in the son. All right, sorry if in for context, this kiss the son is this specifically talking about Jesus, or there was of course it is, it's talking about the Messiah. Huh? Of course, it is because I don't know about this, but yeah, it's talking about the Messiah. Now, watch when we scroll down to what Jesus says in John 5. Look at this that all may honor the Son just as they honor the father whoever does not honor the son does not honor the father who sent him so you see how even jesus says he repeats it all are supposed to honor the son but not just a simple honoring you're to honor the son the same way that you honor the father and whoever does not honor the son you don't honor the father okay I, I get your argument, and I'm not this. I don't know if you understand you know, or what I'm putting. I'm not saying okay, you Christian don't believe in this. Um, what I'm trying to ask you is, so if you you, you already affirmed my my question, though you already said those that don't believe or deny Jesus Christ, they they are not going to partake in the internal life. Agreed. I understand that aspect. What I'm trying to now say is <clears throat> because Judaism basically they are. Like we have Christians that are Unitarians that they, they believe in this one godness. There are some that so we have different aspects. Same thing with the Jews. They're, they're, they're so not Christians. Unitarians who claim to be Christians are not Christians, bro. They, same they with those that accept Jesus of the Jews, they will claim that they, they 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 are not under Judaism. So it's based on both religions. So we are looking at well, the no, um, well, no, no, that's the, the tenets of Judaism is, is in is in the Torah. Judaism is in the Torah and following the prophets and what the prophets said and the Messiah. The most Jew, the, the most Jewish thing you can do is believe in the in the Messiah and honor the Son. That's the yeah, most. Yeah, but Jewish they don't count Jesus as the Messiah. I, I, I think that is that is very known. I'm sorry, they don't what? They don't count Jesus as as the Messiah. They are still expecting that Messiah. Yeah, you, if you're talking about rabbinic Judaism, yeah, they reject Jesus as the Messiah, so they're cut off. So at least it was one of the reasons why they send him to whatever as in the, the death of it. And so I, I don't think we need to argue over that one. We both know the Jews they don't accept in fact they 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 paint him in a bad way. So what I'm yes. I think so do, you, so do yeah. you see how the Quran disagrees with with um what's what the prophets taught, what Jesus taught there, what David taught there? You see how the Quran contradicts what they teach? I'm saying you, your own view, your Christian view, and the Jews be self is, 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 is it my view, or okay? Let me just ask you: Does the Quran okay. line up with what we just read? Does the Quran line yeah. up with with this? It's lining or basically bringing the argument into line, like he's saying: You people claim you are the children of God. The Jews also claim they are the children of God. Why you punishes you for your sins? Like, I, I yeah, don't so, know if that's wait, the argument the Quran is bringing. Just to, just to be clear, just to be clear, yeah. does this verse that's on the screen, does it line up with Islam? 
it's lying on because you're claiming to you are claiming um jesus christ or being the son so the, the Quran is not denying people claiming jesus christ to be the son or Am the I Jews God. so I'm, I'm gonna just be this is jesus speaking jesus says that all mm -hmm. men are the son. this is jesus so jesus says he's the son does mm -hmm. this verse line up with the quran is jesus the son that should be honored like allah is allah the father no. who should be honored I don't think I don't think you you understand the Quran. The Quran is not saying you people can't say anything. It's just clarifying your statement. Whether you said my if brother, I say, my brother is yeah. Allah the Father? No, he's not the Father. That's the argument. That's the argument. Jesus, is Jesus his son? No, there's no there's no son of God anyway. That's what okay, I'm trying good. to say. Does the, so? Does the Quran agree with the verses that I showed you on the screen? Or does it disagree with the verses I showed on the screen? It, it, it disagree bringing you arguments. And that's the argument I'm bringing. I'm bringing in the Quranic argument towards you. I don't know if you understand me. I'm saying the Quran is not saying, OK, this statement is not in your book. But it's saying, for you making that I statement. That. I, didn't say that it is, I didn't say that it rejects what's in my book, or like it's the statement, that the statement is there. I'm saying that the Quran mm. contradicts what is in the book what the prophets taught that's what i'm saying okay i agree it contradicts but what i'm saying is you you are looking from my aspect like okay it contradicts because you believe from your own perspective that this is the truth what i'm saying is quran is making an argument that for you claiming that to be the truth like this is the argument you claim to be the, the truth, truth. Not me. the quran claims it's the truth this isn't me Quran says it. The Quran says we Quran sent, we we wrote in the Zabur the Psalms for David. The Quran says we sent down the book unto Moses, which you guys say is the Torah. The Quran says that the gospel was revealed with guidance and light. It's the Quran that says it's the truth, bro. Not me. I'm just quoting now what the Quran appeals to. It quotes. It appeals to my yeah. books. It appeals, but it makes as a criterion over the, these books. It's not as if everything being said there is the truth. It makes as a, it makes the Quran criterion. So it what the Quran seen, says, there's not a single place in your Quran that says that anything in the Psalms is false, anything in the Gospel is false, anything in the Torah is false. Your, there's not a single verse that says that anything in the books that it that it appeals to is false. Nothing. It says you people write books and call it the book of, of God. Same thing with your book. Your book, you call it is fire word of God. I don't think you people say it's the verbatim word of God. You 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 ascribe the, your the book Quran, as the a book written by men? Was the Quran written by men that claimed it was from God? Sure, it's you, you know I don't need to, we don't need to argue on this. You know how the Quran is being ah, um brought down. You, I don't need to, need to yeah we need I to think, don't think, interview on it we know it's aura on his own thanks for coming man thanks for coming man oh, how is for allah how are you hey how's it going you good i'm pretty good man sorry i thought that he was going to select bra to uh to join i wasn't expecting but it's fine nope. thank you um cool no i just had a couple of questions really um sure. so yeah i didn't want to like I don't think I have enough knowledge to challenge, but I just had a couple of questions because I think um, obviously when I go like when I watch uh, videos on Speakers Corner and stuff, um, nobody really answers these questions as much as I want them to. And I've asked a couple of Christians and they're not well versed on these subjects. So I thought I'd ask you. Um, I try my best. So the, yeah. So the first one is. Um, regarding the dis like the gospels so i read quite a few material out there to uh, that suggests that the gospels were written by anonymous authors what's your position on this uh so they're not anonymous in the sense that we don't know who they are the autographs meaning the original like scripts they don't mm. have their names on them so they're anonymous in that sense they're not anonymous in the way that you know, but we don't know who the authors are. We know exactly who the authors are. We have 2,000 years of church tradition that are consistent on who the authors are, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. There's never, ever any disagreement on that. And um, and so what, what it means, if they say, oh, it's written by anonymous authors, 
what they're what a scholar would mean by that is that the yeah. the autographs are anonymous they don't have the author's name on them but you know traditionally we know exactly who who the authors are so the earliest manuscripts of the gospels don't have any author's names on them but well actually no so they they do like the earliest manuscripts that we have are copies of them and they they all have they have their names on them right but so the, the, the autographs the autographs don't have their names on them so they're they're all they'll all be gospel of jesus according to matthew mark luke and john right and say that gospel of jesus according to matthew gospel of jesus according to mark blah, 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 blah. But they all say that. They all say a gospel according to this person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that. Yeah. Those are, so those are saying, copies. Okay, so the copies, so but it's the copies that are the earliest, right? The copies are the earliest, yeah. We don't the we don't copies have the are the earliest. earliest. You don't have the originals. Correct. Okay, so the copies are the earliest, and the copies don't have any autographs on them. The 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 copies have their names on them, but the copies like you, you, you know, you're not going to have in the in the gospel John say, "I am John writing this," or mm. "I am Matthew writing this." You don't, you don't have that. You don't have their their autographs in, on, on there. But what so you do how have, did they, in, how did they come into circulation? Like how? Because obviously, if yeah. if we don't know who wrote them, how no, we do, do know. No, brother. No, 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 no. Yeah. You're saying the copies. I mean, I'm talking about the copies. Like, how did the copies? end up in circulation because you don't have the originals but you've got the copies right so yeah so, so what we have it? yeah so what we have is we have the apostles who also had apostles who uh who what we call church fathers and bishops right and then we have apostolic succession so people who succeeded the apostles right who came after them or who were studying under them and kept passing on to the traditions and Paul even talks about this. Paul tells Timothy, who's a younger, you know, um, evangelist coming up, he's telling him, hey, you know, hold fast to everything you learned, to the law, da, 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 and the traditions passed to you. Right. And so, and we see a couple of these people mentioned, like Clements mentioned in the Bible. Um, and people who are close, were close with the apostles, knew them, or knew people that knew of them, learned to write under them, or were, you know, contemporaries of them. They okay. held true to the traditions and continued to pass it on with the bishops in the different churches in Antioch um, and Jerusalem and, you know, Ephesus and Galatia. You know, these the letters of Paul, the writings of um, the gospel authors were hitting all of these different places. Okay. So the line yeah. and, and you never see any confusion. Yeah, you never see any confusion in the early church on who the authors of the gospel is. You never see it. Everyone is, is consistent on who it is. Okay. Um, my next question is, um, do you guys believe that Jesus spoke Aramaic? Is that Absolutely. And Greek and Hebrew and possibly Latin. Okay. Um, so the earliest manuscripts are written in Greek, right? The ones That's that you correct. have now the ones that are, don't correct. have an, an autograph on them. Would they, have been copied from, would they have been copied of from our Aramaic scripture? Nope, because Koine Greek was the common tongue of the time and the common tongue of the common folk. So, mm -hmm. and with them trying to spread their message, they're yeah. going to put it in a message that is of the common tongue where everybody can understand it and get it. So, yeah, mm -hmm. just Koine Greek, it's just you know, it's a no-brainer. But the disciples, they would have spoken in Aramaic, right? Like Jesus may have spoken in different language, but the, his disciples, his followers, they all would have spoken Aramaic. All, with him. All, all of them. All of them would have spoken. Their main tongue would have been Aramaic. Yeah. Uh, also would have been versed in, in Koine Greek since they were, they were, you know, servants and laborers and common folk of the Roman Empire. And, mm -hmm. you know, they were in business. Matthew was a tax collector, you know, so he would have most likely had to know Greek and, and maybe some Latin as well. You know, so, he, you know, you had to, these people were in business. They had to be familiar with yeah. these with stuff. Yeah. But their mother tongue would have been Aramaic. Mother tongue would have been Aramaic and Hebrew. Yeah. And would you have assumed that then if they were to write about their life with Jesus, they would have written that in Aramaic? Mm -hmm. No, not necessarily. Because again, they're, spreading the message for to the world 
So if most of the world is speaking Koine Greek, you're not going to write a gospel message in, in um, Aramaic. You're going to write it in a language that everyone understands and everyone is talking and speaking. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, mm -hmm. I had a couple more questions. Um, so okay. just give me a sec. Um, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah there was... Uh, Let me there was, there was actually um, another question I had regarding Jesus as well. So, so obviously, in your belief, Jesus was crucified, right? So, um, why why was he crucified? Like, what's what's the reason for him being killed? Like, short answer. You don't need to go into detail. <laughs> okay. So, are you asking why the Jews put him up for crucifixion, or yeah. are you asking the grand? Okay. So, the reason the Jews was accusing him of blasphemy. They accused him of blasphemy. They accused him of claiming to be God. Jesus was saying things and doing things that only God can say and do. They didn't okay. believe he was God, and so they accused him of blasphemy and working with sorcery. Um, they also did not like how he was. He had an influence on the people and how they were losing their grasp on on the people, and so and he would call them out on their crap. Yeah, so they yeah. wanted him out. Okay, so would you say then the Jews that put him up for trial, it's the Romans that crucified him, right? Not the Jews. Right. The Jews wanted him killed, but the Romans actually crucified him. Would you say then yeah. that because obviously you believe that he died for our sins, would you say that was a good thing then that they put him up for crucifixion? Because if he hadn't been put down, if he hadn't been killed, he would have not died mm -hmm. for our sins. So would would you say that the people yeah. that were responsible for his death was actually doing a good thing? Um, so it's it's nuanced actually. It's similar to like this. Um, so the Bible says that God would God takes what men meant for evil and he turns it around for good. He uses it for good. Similar mm -hmm. to you know the story of Joseph who had it, when his brothers kidnapped him and threw threw him into the pit, okay. right? Are you familiar with that story? No. Uh, Joseph, no. he ended up... Okay, all right. No worries. So just, just briefly. Okay. So Joseph is one of Jacob's sons. One of Jacob's yeah. He was the youngest one. And he, they, he was he was favored. Anyway, the, the brothers were jealous of him, and they threw him in the pit and mm -hmm. sold him off to, uh, to, to slavery in Egypt. Now, you would say right off the back, well, they're doing an evil thing, right? Yeah. Kidnapping, kidnapping their brother, throwing them into a pit, selling them into mm. slavery, doing an evil thing. However, um, when Joseph got to Egypt, he was favored by Pharaoh and the governors to where he got a high position in Egypt. And yeah. because of his position, he was able to also he was able to interpret dreams. He was able to. And so Pharaoh had a dream of a famine coming to Egypt and and. Joseph was able to interpret and say, yeah, there's a famine coming. This is what we should do. So because Joseph was in Egypt, he was now in a position where he can save the nation, not just Egypt, but the surrounding ones that depended on him, like his like his family in, in Canaan. They were also dependent on Egypt. So yeah. if this never happened, if he was never thrown in the pit and never mm -hmm. sold into slavery, he would mm -hmm. not have been in a position to save the nation. So, yes, yeah. what they were doing initially was evil. But God turned it for good. God meant it for good. And it's the okay. same thing with the crucifixion. These men meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. And God's plan ultimately succeeds over there. Would you say then it was sort of predestined for them to kill, to want to kill Jesus and to kill him for the forgiveness of our sins? Like, would you say that? God sort of ordained that to happen. Like it had to go through this route. Like someone had to be selected. People, there was a there had to be a group of people that were against Jesus. Otherwise, if there wasn't, let's say in the ideal world, Jesus came down and did all this stuff and no one wanted to kill him, this would never have happened. So would you say that God sort of made it happen? I I would no, I wouldn't say that God made it happen. I would say that it was in his will to happen. I would say that. God had this plan. He already mm. knew what was going forth, and he set this plan in order. And 
somehow, some way, it was going to get to the crucifixion of Jesus. I wouldn't say that God specifically, you know, fixed the hearts of those particular individuals to go against Jesus, but that people were going to go against Jesus regardless, and he was going to end up being crucified. I would say that that was in his mm -hmm. ordained plan, not the heart of the but, person. Yeah, but at, at an individual level, mm -hmm. you would say that God will have to in a way right he would need to say well these set of people need to turn against jesus and put him up for crucifixion like otherwise i don't know i don't understand what you're saying like is yeah, it I, that god would have to put it into the hearts of those individuals to want to kill jesus nope. in order for him to be crucified nope not at all not at all there if you have um you, you also have this this phrase in, in the Bible where it talks about how God hardens certain people's hearts or uh, in another phrase of saying he gives them over to themselves. So mm. like when God takes his hand off of you, you he mm. gives you over to yourself. And now you're basically you're so you succumb to your own sin, your own pride. There's yeah, no yeah. way to do that without God's help. So he lifts yeah. his hand off of you, hardening. So your heart's hardened. You're you're rebelling and going against God regardless. Mm. And I think that that's an example of that, that God gives these people over to themselves. They yeah. hate the Messiah and there's no recovery from that because God mm. has taken his hand off of them, you know. Because there are obviously people in life that, you know, they're rebellious, but they turn to God later on in life after mm. some time. So you'd yeah. agree that God sometimes would, like you said, take his hand off and mm -hmm. kind of lead them to it or he keeps his hand on and he guides them later on you know after they've made their mistakes or at some point in their life yep hey logic can i give them another perspective like, definitely yeah. um it was going to be this this jesus being unalive was going to happen mm. it just happened when the pharisees wanted to go to you know uh, Pontius Pilate and get him unalive and get him crucified even if jesus would have lived to 50 60 80 100 he still would have been unalive for the for the sins of the world because if you if you read in 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 uh Matthew they say that Jesus perceived that the that the Israelites wanted to make him king and as long as uh Rome uh Rome had jurisdiction over that area Palestine and Jerusalem Anyone that the, the people try to anoint a king over Caesar, they was going to take him out. So as long as Jesus was there doing miracles, getting more popular, he was going to eventually become a threat to the Romans anyway. So the Romans probably anyway would have ended up. Uh, unless the Romans accepted him, right, in, your, in what you're saying. Like, unless the Romans accepted through his miracles, he is king, right? This guy. But that, that would but they would have they would have went against their their government to do that mm. and they had the power they weren't gonna let that happen any type of insurrection they always stomp it out mm. but in the, so, in the hypothetical scenario that i'm saying if they were to like let's say for example i'm i'm in the uk so, right? the only thing i'm trying to trying to get to you is that god didn't set a certain group of people hearts to be hardened against jesus to do this uh crucifixion it was good it was going to happen inevitably some type of way shape or form but we but god logic you said that god sort of took his hands off these people and their hearts became hardened and then they went against christ right that's yeah, that's yeah he leads them to themselves he yeah he, he leads them to themselves the hearts but he hardened. didn't or yeah he didn't ordain this certain person like this guy yeah. is gonna do it this guy is gonna right. do it. he didn't do that but he would have had to take in his hands off specific individuals for their hearts to be hardened in order for them to go against Christ. Yeah, it's a, it's a thing where God says that he has mercy on who he has mercy on. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, he, he, he leaves for destruction who, who he chooses. Right. And so, yeah. So, so who he with, chooses, with, God, you'd say that God chooses specific individuals. Well, well, there are, there are, there are, there are, let me see. Yeah, let me say this. There are specific individuals that God will um, that God will take his hand off be, to to bring out his accomplishment, what he what he planned. And mm -hmm. for these people, you know, 
notice it's it's due to it's due to their sin already. It's due to their sin. It's due to their rebellious rebellion, to where God says, "Okay, fine," takes his hand off, leaves them, and gives them over to their desires, to where yeah. there is no turn back for them. So um, and so that's, those, that's what this is. Those individuals that he takes his hands off, they have mm -hmm. no way back to God. You're saying, and and it's almost like. They have committed so much sin now. It's like, hey, you're gonna go to hell anyway. So I'm um, unless, well, no, it's, it's it's unless unless God decides to show the mercy and mm. and restores their heart in some way. You know, God knows best, but <clears throat> in in what He does and how He does it. So there's it's not that it's impossible for them to go back, but without yeah. God, without Him, we we can't. It is we we need. Like faith is a gift from God. You know, it's mm. a gift. So we we need his help, you know. There's there's even a, a a time where Jesus was healing a man, and he hit you know, and he healed him and said, "Do you believe? Do you believe? Like, do you believe? I'm, uh, you know, I'm the Messiah." And he said, he responded to Jesus and said, uh, "Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. Help it. Okay. Help me where I am not believing." And so it's okay. it's have these type of areas like that. Cool. Okay, I'll move on to my next question. Um, uh, really quick, before you move on to your next one, um, there was something that you, you made a statement about, uh, you were saying, so, you know, God must have, and this is what was from your understanding. Um, so I was getting that you had the understanding that God placed in these men's heart to crucify Christ. Is this sort of a position that you're coming from Islamically? no 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 i i'm basically trying to because i'm just trying to understand like mm -hmm. what are the position of the people in the hereafter mm -hmm. um the people that crucified jesus because in one obviously for us mm -hmm. i mean we don't obviously believe he was crucified we believe that these people who wanted to kill him are gonna go to hell for sure because they're trying to kill a prophet right um, we don't believe that they succeeded because God saved him from crucifixion. But if we just put that aside for now, and let's just imagine in a world where he was crucified, let's say I believe he was crucified. If I believe he was crucified, I want to understand those people that crucified him did what they, is what they did right? Like, is that a good thing? Because him being crucified saves everyone else. It saves the whole of humanity or is what they've done a bad thing in the sense that because of that, they're going to go hell. Well, I believe in a sense I was, I was so, so that, that question was answered um, by logic. What no, I was no, trying I was, to get was asked about whether they're going to go to hell, like whether they're going to be punished for killing Jesus. But yeah, well, yes. I mean, well, we're, we're, yeah. we're not, we're, we're not, that we're answers, not, we're yes. not we don't, yeah, we're not God. We don't have uh, heaven or hell to put somebody in, but I assume that those people are going to hell. Yeah, like, no, what you know, so. like whether they're going to hell but, or heaven, but what you believe. I mean. Yeah, but my my thing was is as far as being preordained, were you were you posing that as an as an argument for something that would falsify Christianity? Like if that was something no, that was no, no. preordained, I don't think that's going to falsify Christianity because in some sense we believe that God has knowledge of all things he has knowledge of what's to come so he already knows because if he didn't then you know in a way how would a prophet prophesize of what's to come in the future if god hasn't already written what's to come so i'm well, not saying no. sorry, i'm not yeah, saying so well yeah. so so yeah so that's that's sort of an issue because i would say if he if we were to say yes God preordained this, which means that he created these people and ordered them to do these things, placed upon their hearts to go and crucify Christ. I would say that that would falsify Christianity if God sent these people to go crucify Christ. Mm -hmm. And so if you're saying that you don't have a problem with that, which is the reason why I was asking you, um, because we do know that in Islam, there is a position of God, uh, Allah, excuse me, preordaining things for people. But usually mm -hmm. when we try to have the conversation about a lot preordaining things for certain people even when it comes by way of evil mm. it, it turns into well no he just knows what they're going to do so mm. in a sense 
when you use preordain, are you saying yeah, that no. Allah knows what, what people are going to do, or is he the one making these people do these things? That's a good question, actually. I think God knows what's going to happen. Like, he already knows what you're going to do tomorrow, but it doesn't mean he's made you do it. He just knows that you're going to do these things because he has knowledge of all things. Um, per my perfect. So, so in connection... Perfect. So in connection with the, with the question that you asked, it seemed as if you were asking if God made these men crucify Christ. And that's my question. Yeah. So the answer to that was no. And I'm saying if that was the case, would that be a problem? No, no, no. Oh, what, you're, sorry. So you're OK with oh, you're so you're okay with you. God. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's what I'm saying. So so you're OK with God preordaining things like that. So if, if, if we were to say yes, you would be like, OK, fine. No, I don't think I'll be okay with that. I'm, I'm uh, a little confused. Yeah, he's I, saying that it'll be. He's saying that it'll be a problem. He's saying that it'll be a no, problem with God. Be, but he just said it wasn't. But he just said it won't be a problem like two seconds ago. Yeah. No, I wait, said so, that. So wait. So let me let me let me let me, let me, let me clarify really quick so we can. Uh, yeah, really quick. Let me just re-ask the question because I'm yeah. a little uh, confused. So if we were to say yes. God preordained for these men by way of making these men crucify Christ, right? Putting it on their hearts and, and, and they, they cannot overcome the fact that they have to get Christ yeah. crucified. You said that would be a that, problem. Yes. yes okay. That, that would, would, okay. That, okay. That would right. So that would mean that but I'm not, you're, I'm not, I'm not using that to falsify Christianity whatsoever. I just no, want to no. understand. No, no, I, I understand. I understand what you're people. saying. Yeah. No, I, I understand what you're saying. So now what I'm saying is, is so you do have a problem with a God preordaining evil for specific men, right? Like he's the one making these men do this, right? He's the one. Well, it's, it's it would be similar to what God Logic said in the sense that these people obviously are committing sin and they're bad people. And God but has because it's preordained for them, though, right? So they have no choice but to do it. Well, no. Well, we have free will to do whatever we want to do. So they don't. It's not like they don't have any choice. They they have the choice to do whatever they want to do. But they, no, if they, power, didn't, he, they didn't have to do it. He's asking, do you have a problem with the idea of God preordaining people's evil actions? Like it's not that it was their free choice to do it. But God himself is the one who basically made them do it. Like he wrote for them that they're going to do this and they don't have a choice to go outside of what, what God wrote for them. Do you have a problem with that idea? It's a hard question to answer only because how, as a human being, how do we know what God wrote for us like for example has he written for me to go to paradise has he written for me to go to well, hell yeah, i yeah. have the free will to do whatever i want to do so i don't think that's a i don't think i don't believe that i don't believe god like in the sense that you know we have free will to do whatever we want to do so regardless of what he wrote for us or what he didn't write for us it's up to us because we have free will like it's my one, if he wrote it for you, then you don't have free will, right? Because you didn't choose that. He wrote it for you to, to choose it, right? But I still have the choice, though. I have free will. No, you, you don't. can't if have it's a preordained. You, you don't. You don't have a choice. You have to do it. If it's if God preordained something for you, but you, do you, I have, know you have no choice that something. you're gonna do that. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if you know it. It doesn't matter if you know it or not. The fact is, is that. You, you could even have this illusion that you freely chose this action when really God is the one that preordained this action that you're carrying out. Like you have this illusion that it was your free choice to hop on this stream today when yeah. really Allah is the one who wrote for you to hop he on the stream. Knowledge. He has knowledge of what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm not um, talking about knowledge. So, not for knowledge. Yeah, that's not, that's not preordained. I'm so talk, when, I'm talking about when Muslims causality. preordained, you got to understand the word that you're using. Preordain is not simply for knowledge. It's it's an order. It's an action that is that that you have to do. This is not something that Allah is saying, "Hey, I know you're going to do this, so I'm going to write this down for you." Preordained is a completely different word. 
That's not that's not Allah just knowing what you're gonna do. So this is my position, and I'll make this simple, and I won't use any of the words that I've used before, what you've used, and I'll just put it simple. God has knowledge of all things, so He knows what's to come. Like the way, for example, in the old, like say, let's take your Old Testament as an example. He will pro that He would send that revelation that would prophesy on things to come in the future because those things have already been written. And those prophets are using the information that they receive from God of what's happening in the future as a way to validate that they're prophets, right? So the way I see it is that God yeah, has yeah. knowledge of all things. He knows what's to come. He knows what you're going to do, but you have free will to do whatever you want to do. Yeah, so that's not what we're asking. Uh, we understand your position. Mm. My question is, if if God wrote for you an action, mm -hmm. is that you free willing to do that action or did Allah make you do that action? Allah knows what I'm going to do. So I already have free will and he knows what I'm going to do. That's it. So yes. Again, notice how so I'm not asking like about foreknowledge. No, I'm not asking about foreknowledge. I'm, I'm not like, it's not like, I'm watching a replay of a football game. I watched the game before, and now the replay is on, and so I know what's going to happen. Uh, it's not what yeah. I'm talking. I'm talking about like as if you have characters in a storybook, and mm -hmm. you and there's an author who writes down everything a, a character will say, will do, will think, how they will move. That's what I'm talking about. But the characters is don't that have free it. will. But the characters don't have free will okay. because 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 what you're in your when what you're saying you're basically creating like a movie and you're saying you're gonna have to do these things and you're giving instructions to these people to walk this way or to talk this way or to sit down or to stand up. God's not. I can't hear God in a microphone in my ears to say, "Hey, you're gonna miss your prayer." Uh, you know, not, this not night, the characters in my story. Know, Neither can the characters in my story. The characters in my story are going along with the story, not knowing that it was already written by me. You get what I'm saying? So they can have this, this illusion that they're moving along in this life uh, according to their own free will, what they do and what happens in life, as if it's their actions that cause it or whatever, when really I wrote everything down already. I wrote down what they're going to do. But I wrote really, down what you say no, and what's going to happen. Uh, it's, happen. it's slightly different from the analogy that you're using because you're yeah. be, because when we say that Allah has knowledge of all things, we know He knows the future. He knows what you're going to do because you have free will. He, I know what you're saying. You're, you're saying mm -hmm. I'm writing something that you're going to do, and you're going to follow my instructions because I'm the producer. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, my question is, is it free will? Is that free will if I write down the actions of somebody? Is that free will? Does that person have free, have free will if I wrote do down their actions? If they have free will to do whatever they want to do, then yeah, it's free will. Even if you know what's to come. All right, so can they go? Can they, I got you. Can they go against what I wrote for them? Can they go against what you wrote for them? Well, if you already know what yeah. they're going to do, if then I not really make sense. No, so if if I write down for them an action, can they go against the action that I write down for them? But you're not writing down. <laughs> okay, let me. Can I give you an analogy? It's gonna make a lot of sense. I don't. I don't get it because he just was asking the same thing, but flipped around on Christianity. But once it's flipped around back to Islam, mm -hmm. now he, he doesn't don't understand, understand what we're talking about. Yeah. He was just no. asking that God preordain these uh people to unalive jesus on a cross did he did he set that in their in their hearts for them but now that we're asking the same thing around flipped around towards uh islam oh no now he doesn't understand the concept no i didn't say i don't understand it i'm i'm trying to explain our concept but you're not understanding what I'm saying. Okay, let me let me put it this no, way. No, we, we know, let me look, let me put it. I don't understand mean to wholeheartedly. No, I okay. want you to know that we understand what you're saying. As a matter of fact, I'm a still man your position. Let me still man it. I'm a still man your position. 
Your position is, is that God has foreknowledge. He's all knowing. Yes. So he already he knows. knows what yes. is going to happen, what's gonna, what you're going to do yes. and stuff okay. like that. And his knowledge doesn't affect your free choice. He just knows what you're freely going to do. Yeah. That's what your position is, right? My, yeah. yeah okay. you I that. want you to know what we understand. Yeah. Man. So like, for example, okay. I said, God logic is going to wake up late tomorrow. Not because I'm telling him that he's going to wake up late tomorrow, because I know. It's because you know. It's because you just know what, yeah, you know, you know the future. You know what he's going to do. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. So now, so now, so you see how we understand your position. Now, understand what I'm asking you, because I'm not asking about foreknowledge, all, all knowingness. I'm not asking about that. I'm asking about the causality of an action. Whether, because we know Allah's knowledge doesn't determine someone's action. He just knows what they're going to do. Okay. I'm talking about whether God, you know, himself makes the action. So if he writes down the action, not just knows that I'm going to wake up today and brush my teeth, starting with my left hand, but he writes down that I'm going to wake up today at this time and I'm going to brush my teeth with my right hand, mm -hmm. starting with my left. Yeah. Am, is that my free will or is that what he has made happen? What he no, has that's pre free will. I mean, he's already written what you're going to do. Okay. So can I go against what he wrote for me? <laughs> well, obviously not because you've already done it. Well, I didn't do it. I haven't done anything yet. He knows you've already. He, in, he knows because he has knowledge of all things. He already knows what you're going to do. So if he wrote down for me. Now I'm going to brush my teeth at 1050. Can mm -hmm. I choose when I wake up to not brush my teeth until 11? If you chose to not brush your teeth at 1015 or let's say you to wake up at 8 a.m., then that's what have been that would have been written. No, I'm, I, I'm asking about what he's written. If he wrote, please follow me and answer this. Answer this directly. Don't come up with another analogy. Answer this. No, if no, he I'm wrote down, if he wrote down. I'm going to wake up and brush my teeth at 1050. Can I wake up and brush my teeth at 11 instead? You can do whatever you want, but he's already written down what you've already done because he has knowledge of the future. So can I go against what he wrote down for me? That doesn't make sense because he's not writing for it. So he's not writing it down as instructions for you to action. He's writing down of what's happening in the future. Yeah, we understand that. So if he's, if he's, listen. Oh, so but your but, question is illogical. But, but power power of Allah. Let me say this. Power of Allah. Let me say this. That, we understand. Gonna... Yeah, we understand. I have loads of you, questions you, after this, by you, the way. I don't want to just. I don't want to. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I, I mean, I tried to I tried to get you to understand what it is that you came up asking us and tried to flip it onto Islam, because within Islam, you have this. You have Allah preordaining things and making people do these things, regardless of whether they know that Allah made them do it or not. Allah has already written these things for you. He has written has what people future, are going to do. He has written the amount of evil people are going to commit by way of him forcing you to do that. Make this wrap wrap this up for him because I gotta I gotta go to to JP stream. Oh, you gotta head out. All right, cool. Yeah. So we understand exactly what it is that you're talking about, power of Allah. But what I'm saying, what we're saying is, is that is not what we are saying. We are not saying Allah is uh, 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 just telling us what it is that a person is gonna do. We understand that. So the question that was asked of you is that if this thing was preordained, can somebody do otherwise? And it, for some reason, it's not clicking. So I don't, know, I don't know what to say after this. It's written. Oh, it's, 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 cool. it's not being honest right now. So sorry. Right. Look, can, can I carry on with my questions? You know, uh, well, hey, life. What, hold on, life. Do you uh, do you want to keep this going or? Are you you done? Because I gotta I gotta host the uh, the other stream for JP. Uh, I got about thirty minutes, wow. so if he wants to if he wants These to ask another like, question, I'll like close another five up. Minutes. I know there's yeah, there, there's other people. Too, so like, uh, yeah, I don't want to take up too much of your time, so I'll be quick. Okay. Yeah, I'll close I it out in thirty. So if you want to keep before you go, logic. Right. So, I just wanted to say congrats, congrats, bro. Uh, as a married man myself, I just want to say happy wife, happy life. 
keep her happy, bro. <laughs> oh, you're you're, happy. you're about to moderate. You're about to moderate. <laughs> happy wife. Just keep her no, happy. No, for bro. real, man. Hey, coming from yeah. from from two married men, man. That's true, bro. That is true, man. Awesome. Um, Thank you're about you. to moderate. Don't JP forget to pull up. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. shoot, man! I'm about to go over there, man. I'm about to cl close this out. Oh, I'm all right. Well, I guess it's over. Um, yeah, it's all right, power, over. power, of a, power, yeah. power of a lot. Come, come back tomorrow. I'll, I'll try to stream tomorrow and then uh, try to answer uh, the, your other questions. Okay? Well, what time are you guys <laughs> doing your stream tomorrow? Around the, around the same time. We we started about two hours before this, so same time, okay. two hours before whatever it is for you now. Okay, perfect. All right, thanks. All right. Take care, man. Thank you guys for coming through. I appreciate all the super chats, guys. Thank you guys uh, all who have who've been saying congratulations on the engagement. I really appreciate you guys. Make sure you pray for me and uh, Lady Logic. Pray for us. Pray for our union. Pray that God keeps us strong. Pray that uh, God keeps us humble before each other, serving each other, keeping him right in the center, and that we always appeal to him rather than our feelings and ourselves. And, you know, just keep just keep just keep us in your prayer, man. Just go on, keep just go on, keep us in your prayers, man. All right. <laughs> With that being said, yeah, thank you guys so much. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be we'll be live again tomorrow, guys. I'll be live again tomorrow. Uh, life, will you have time tomorrow again? And word, you you're welcome too. Would you guys have time tomorrow? Um, I'll, I'll be at work yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be I'll be back. I'll be back in town. I'll be back home tomorrow. So yeah, I'll, I'll definitely have time for sure. Definitely okay. back. Yeah, because yeah, I'm like, like again, my connection sucks, so it's hard for me to communicate with the guests. I, I think it was better today, but you know, I ne you never know. So I, I'm gonna need guys to hold hold the fort down for for me. All right, this is this is yeah. how you get strong connection. <laughs> Everybody, head over to JP's channel. Yes, sir. Debate on the way, baby. I'm going over there, man. I, I, I've been waiting for this. Allah gave me face. Allah, who I bought. Subhanallah. But Allah gave me faith. Allah gave me faith. But Allah gave me faith. Allah gave me faith. But Allah gave me faith. Allah gave me faith. Allah gave me faith. Allah gave me faith. Oh, Allah gave me face. Allah, who I bought. Subhanallah. Jason Casper dropping the back. I like it.